Kendra Internet. I am back from America. Had a really amazing time. I am totally exhausted. I came back with a cold. I don't think it's COVID. I tested negative, but yeah, if it's not COVID, it's a really bad cold. But I'm starting to recover. I've been back for a week now and I'm starting to recover, but I've still got as you can probably hear, a bit of a scratchy voice and coughing quite a lot. I don't know when I'm going to get videos edited. I didn't actually film that much there because I was there for work and the time off I had was kind of like, I, I did get quite a bit of time off to explore but it was kind of patchy and I had to do work in between so I didn't do a lot of real filming so I think the videos when I get around to editing them, they're just going to be sort of vloggy, snapshotty things. They're not going to be proper travel videos. <laughs> this video is just a very quick one to show you some of the fabric I bought in New York and other parts of America. I didn't expect to get the chance to do any shopping outside of New York, so I bought the bulk of it in New York, but then I did get to go to another couple of places. Which is cool. I just wish I hadn't bought so much in New York because I would have bought more at the last place I went to. <laughs> so the first shop I went to was in New York and that was Gotham City Quilts. And the prices were New York prices so I'd been warned they were really expensive there but Compared to New Zealand prices, they were still pretty cheap. And they had a really good sale selection, so I just shopped from the sale selection because I suspected this was going to be my only chance to go to a quilt shop, so I thought, make the most of it. So I didn't have any particular project in mind. I was just in the shop, mainly going for like bright colours because I thought I might make some more rainbow quilts. This kind of half stripe I also thought might make an interesting um, binding. This one definitely has got to be a binding. It's just, I don't know what I'm going to use it on, but it's going to be a great binding. Here's another that was just nice and bright and cheerful. And again, I think would work really well in a rainbowy type quilt. And I'm never going to say no to a, anything with words on. And it's also Alice in Wonderland, but Alice in Wonderland, but Halloween. I could look at the salvages and tell you exactly what these fabrics are, but really, who cares? They're just pretty. I don't go for like particular designers. This was really nice, I think. It's very bright. It's not a green that I normally buy, but again, I'm tr I was trying to get some colours that I don't have a lot of. And this also would make great for some sort of rainbow quilt and they had that in two different colours so again teal is not a colour I have a lot of so I'm going to try and use some of that. It's another one that I think I recognise this one. Um, is that? Who is that? That is Stacy Sue. I, I feel like I know that name. It was, it was a really nice shop. It was tiny. Yeah, the people were really friendly. I chatted for ages while she was cutting my fabric. And there's another nice Alice in Wonderland one. Oh, is, is that Who's he What's It? Oh, I'm so bad at designer names. Yeah, Tiller Pink. I actually recognise a designer for once. You're probably going to tell me that half the others are really famous designers too, but I don't know. But um, I like the colour and it, like nice intense set of colours there. And then this one was just silly. I have no idea what I'll do with this, but I was thinking I might be able to do something by fussy cutting some of the cat faces and make something Christmassy with cat faces on it. Who knows? I've only got a wee bit of this because I can't see having a use for that many Christmas cat faces. <laughs> So that was the first shop, that was Gotham City Quilts. Again, no plan for what I'm going to do with this. I wasn't particularly trying to buy coordinated fabric other than I just got
got lots of brights and other than the cats it all kind of might go together but I work scrappy so the chances are that I'm not going to make a quilt using these exact fabrics together. I thought that was the only quilt shop I'd get to go to but then in Connecticut I went to a Joann's which I know real quilters don't think Joann's fabric's any good but hey, it was right next door to our hotel and I only had like a couple of hours free so I just dashed in there and had a look and I was, I was actually really impressed it was like it was a really good range of fabric it's, yeah it's not as good a quality as the the proper quilt fabric but it was still fine it's, it was better than what you'd get here from like a Lincraft and I sew with Lincraft fabric sometimes because you know you, you sew with what you can get so I just bought a few fabrics there that caught my eye this, this one especially I really like this so I think it's a really nice make a good blending fabric and it's just pretty and then I bought a few more of yardage uh, a batik I think that's the only batik I got on this trip um, this one will be really good as background maybe on my rainbow quilts this one is ridiculous and ugly colors but I think I can make something good out of this by chopping it up and doing something interesting with it I don't know what I'm going to do with it like everything I just bought these to have in my stash I will figure out what I'm going to do with them as time goes by very much like Lindcraft they had lots of fat quarters so I bought this bundle that is nice semi-coordinating fabric so I can definitely find something to do with those and then a bunch of random fat quarters which again just whatever caught my eye I have no plan for these things that would be interesting or things that I thought oh I don't have a lot of that colour in my stash at the moment and a few a couple just white blenders because I tend not to buy those and then I'm always looking for them so that's what I got from Joanne's don't judge me <laughs> and then unexpectedly when we were in Virginia in Fairfax I didn't think there was any quilt shops near to where I was staying but it turned out there was one uh, called the Quilter Studio which was just a bus ride away from where I was so I had a few hours free so I dashed over there and it was an amazing quilt shop it was probably the best one I went to and of course it was my last day I didn't have much time and I also had no room in my suitcase at all. I could have bought a lot of fabric there because they had some really great stuff. But my bag was like so full. I was like, I can probably buy one, maybe two meters of fabric and that's it. Nothing else is going to fit in my suitcase without me going and buying a whole new suitcase. And that seemed a bit over the top. And also I didn't have time to do it. So I spent a lot of time wandering around the shop trying to choose what fabric to buy there because I wanted to buy so many things and I just didn't have space for them. And I saw this fabric which is totally weird and unusual. Um, she said it was a brand new line that they'd just received like the day before. There were different colourways of it all with like these amazing photographic collages but this one is like an ombre effect so it's it's got a whole rainbow right across all in this collage and I don't know what I'd use this for but I I kept coming back to it and I thought well, if I cut some sort of big squares you could make a really cool sort of rainbow I spy type of thing with this I don't know but this is going to become a quilt this is not going to be in my just use little pieces for scraps I, I'm, I'm going to design a quilt around this fabric because it is just so cool and so unusual and definitely something that I haven't seen here if I'd known that shop was there and was so good I wouldn't have bought as much in the Gotham City quilt San Joanne's but that's okay I still got a really good pile of fabric and I'm happy about it it was fun getting to 
visit some quilt shops in America and just see how much more range they have. Even Gotham City Quilts, which was quite small, the, the range was just so much more than most quilt shops in New Zealand have. And obviously a lot of the newer stuff, I didn't, other than that last piece I bought in Fairfax, I didn't go for any of the new stuff really because a lot of the stuff that is kind of last season is still exciting in New Zealand and it's like half the price of what it would be in New Zealand. But I really enjoyed getting to see what American quilt shops are like. Even to see Joanne's was fun, like the range there was so much better than what I expected. So that's what I got in America. I think that's a pretty good haul really. It cost me about half what it would cost in New Zealand. I didn't go overweight on my luggage, just. I had a 23 kilo limit and I think I was about 22, so that's pretty good. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I will see you next time. Hakita Anno Internet.